Hey guys, hello, hello, and welcome back. And we're gonna be reading Dante's Notes. I believe it's day six and seven. I thought it was early, so it was five and six, but no, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about that. Anyways, let's start. First off, we're gonna start with the Blade Lineage here. Oh, oh ain't that peachy. Huh, well, whatever. Yeah. The Blade Lineage, record number one. Syndicate of sword wielding ruffians and libertines roaming the back streets. Guessing from conversations with the sinners who wore such identities, they don't seem to act or move in groups, much despite belonging to a syndicate. To be more precise, oh, I lost. okay, they do have temporary company from time to time, but there's no strict subgroups or pecking order. It's unfortunate that half of their answers were taking the piss. Well, so I am unable to write proper answers here. What do you mean taking the piss? What did that mean? I think it's taking the piss mean. Now whatever. Hero Kuma Clan, sure. Record number one. A giant syndicate spread deep and wide across the back streets. They seem to be characterized by long, single-edged swords with sheaths and dark slash wavy clothes. They basically earn their keep by taking protection fees from the back streets businesses under the well, under the pretext of offering safety. <sighs> from what I from what I heard, the identities. <laughs> They seem to be in some kind of conflict with another syndicate called the Blade Lineage. I didn't get to hear the reason. They follow some sort of hierarchy, and henchmen are generally forbidden from disobeying their superiors. And like the cell may. Huh. Hmm. There do seem to be special exceptions if Hong Lu is to be believed. <laughs> if he's strong enough, there's exceptions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the city's technology, okay. Oh, continuing on Limbus Company, sure. Wait, no. Continuing on the Golden Bows? Sure. The Golden Bows, record number one. Small branch-shaped items emitting a golden glow. It doesn't really feel like a tree branch. My head gets these tingling sensations whenever I get close to one of them. Whatever these are, they certainly aren't ordinary gold-painted twigs we're made to go after. <laughs> well, if they were, that'd be kind of weird. Fixers, eh? Hey, nice. Record number one. A type of freelancers who take care of or help with various jobs in the city. They don't work for free, of course. The whole society seems to be based on money. But I don't think I can say for sure that there are absolutely no fixers willing to do charity work, I suppose. Yeah, like Virgilius, well, before everything went all wrong, eh? <laughs> the fixers I've seen and heard about were all... Well, were from all walks of life. Too diverse for me to neatly summarize if talking with mirrored identities count too. Maybe it's a common career. I mean, if we know from Library of Runa, it's kind of a common common career, eh? Well, guys, that's going to be the notes, I believe, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it now. We oh, oh. City technology identities, eh? We almost missed one here. Crap. Record number two. Yeah, sure. Although we can't write how exactly those identities are used in full, feels like attempting to make me unsure somehow. Synchronizing the extracted identity with the with my LCB PDA and the bus window allowed me to communicate with it or feel it in a way, counting for the image of the identity in my mind. I get a sense of understanding as if I'm talking to the sinner like usual, and once the sinner and I make an unspoken agreement, the identity overrides the sinner, accompanied by the sound of glass shattering. <laughs> Sounds like ego kind of way. Eh? Can't think of a more suitable description. While overlaid with an identity, the sinner appears pretty different from usual. On top of attires and weapons, the personalities can also change pretty wildly, and sometimes make me question if they're really the sinners I know. Fortunately, they seem to go back to their original selves when they're done using an identity. But prolonged use might cause small side effects like headaches or residual traces of the identity's personality surf surfacing from time to time. Time to time. <laughs> Interesting, I believe that it was double check everything here. Identities. Nothing. Syndicates. Nothing. Kinda of weird how it's all like that. Nest. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Cool. Oh. Right this, good. We're just double checking just to make sure. You never know, right? You never know. Okay guys, well, that seems to be it, anyways. Hope you enjoyed this little scuffed reading, are you? Yeah. Anyways, peace out, and have a good one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>